Hey, hello and welcome. I'm Mr. Tattered Rags, and this is Bioforge. It's a, I think, 1995 game. I'm not quite sure, actually, but uh, by Origin. <clears throat> and I have not even thought about this game in a long time, but this Let's Play channel actually kind of brought it to mind. Uh, my Let's Play icon is a hand, if you haven't noticed. A green, glowing hand. And it's actually the Bioforge hand, uh, though its thumb is on the opposite side as this one. Uh, so, I, I've always I've been intending to play this game for since I thought up the channel. And regardless, that's uh, it's a survival adventure game, kind of Alone in the Darkish or Resident Evil. You pick up items as you go along, you buy yourself try not to die. Now, in this game, the, it's, the combat is unforgiving at best, and I haven't really decided which one. I think I'll end up doing medium combat. I don't want me easy. I think the combat is still supposed to be extremely difficult on easy, and nearly impossible on hard. Uh, I'll balance out the two, do medium, give you a nice laugh or two as I can't pass certain fights, but I don't want to make it so difficult that I literally can't pass the fights. Uh, the main problem is that you have to really be facing the exact right way when you kick and punch and do all those sorts of things. So it's, you know, regardless, that's not, <laughs> it can be uh, frustrating at, at best. But the game itself is very, very well done. One of the earliest ones doing some level of motion capture, and basically cutting edge for its time. But without further ado, let's go ahead and just get on with it. screens here. Options. Uh, go ahead and, and save for the first time. Apparently I... Oh, anyway. Save the address. Enter caption. Let's play zero one start. <coughs> now, uh... One of the cool things about the game is your body will show damage as you get hurt. And it gets worse and worse and worse. Uh, inventory. Exit. Diagnostic. The controls are kind of spread out all over. As your health goes down, you can use your energy by using the biological repair to repair it. Uh, but there's only a couple chances to really re replenish your energy and a couple other places where you can heal yourself. It's not a good idea to get hurt, it's just in general. Let's see. Enter, pick... A logbook! A right, logbook. Wow, let's read it. I know what they will do to me. They will mutilate my flesh and make it into something inhuman. They can completely alter the state of my mind. 
they shall not break my spirit. I am determined, I swear, with every ounce of my will, that I am, uh, that who I am, my internal nature, cannot be twisted or cut out of me. No matter what occurs, I will remain unchanged. One of the cool things that... You, it, I just put it in my inventory, by the way. One of the cool things is that... Ah... Uh, you don't know who you are. Uh, you could be anybody in this game, and you will... Gradually, you'll, you'll, if you kill everyone, you're then a murderer type person or whatever, but if you help people, you end up being a different identity, and as you go through, you kind of figure out who you are. Uh, so that's a very nice little feature that kind of adds to the story, that you get to, your actions really have an, an impact. I have noticed a significant response problem whenever I repeat the same combat motion. Why should this be? Is it an energy problem? Or are my internal systems badly engineered? I must remember not to repeat my tactics while in battle. If you do the same kick or punch one right after the other, the second time is really quite slow. I heard a cry of agony from beyond my cell. A guard? Another prisoner? Did I write what is in this logbook here, in this book, in here, in my cell? I don't remember writing it. It sort of sounds like me. It's hard to tell without any basis for comparison. My body is some sort of machine, but I can tell what I was once a human. I am a cyborg. Who made me this way? Why did they? Why did they? How could I have let them? And another journal entry. There's a lot of reading in the game, but hopefully it's not too bad. There are entries in my journal, but I have not made them. Or does this device record my unconscious thoughts? I do not understand what has been done to me. Something is not right. I'm going to pick up this meat. A hunk of meat! And pop it in my inventory. I can shift. Be able to run. I'm not sure why it's not running. Maybe I haven't learned to run yet. <laughs> Dancing. Okay, <right>, anyway. <laughs> uh. played Alone in the Dark, you probably realize that there is a, or other games like this, there's a camera angle problem. <clears throat> I can see a gun inside of a cell number two. I could get it if only I knew how to shut off the horse bars. There's a tunnel burrowed into the floor of the cell and a talking pin is gone. I wonder where it leads. These ter tremors feel extremely severe. Why isn't anyone coming to check on me in person? Something has gone wrong here and I am in danger. Is there anybody out there? Crazy guy, let's go ahead and pick this up. A severed arm! It's actually your first weapon. <laughs> a lot of journals. The person in the cell next to mine has lost arm trying to escape. His force bars must be set to a much more lethal in intensity than in my cell. Note to self. Save before trying to go in there. Option. Remember how many saves there are. Maybe I should do this off screen, but okay. Go ahead and do on this one. Yeah. Are beating. 
Yes, I'm gonna try. No, what did I just do? <laughs> But I want the fork. Maybe I can't actually use the arm as a gun. <laughs> or as a weapon, I mean. Obviously not a gun, but... Let's put it in the... Oh. Inventory. Meat. Food stuff. Dried meat. Approximately 73 hours. Oh, wait. Blah, blah, blah. Signs of spoilage. Logbook. Exit. Hmm. Alt, a block. Uh, also, punch, punch, overhand, lower punch, lower punch, nothing. And those three are blocks. And kick, kick, backflip, uh. headbutt, kick, kick, kick. house, headbutt. Uh. No. Okay, let's take this guy down. Want that fork? Go away. Ah! Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I can't let that stand. <laughs> oh, this game, yeah. Right, if I fail this combat, I'm just gonna move on because maybe I don't need the fork. I probably need. If you come from the fork, you'll be sorely disappointed. Um, short, short, short. Oh, okay. One short, one long. We should not be enemies. We should work together. No, no, no. I have no wish to harm you. Not be enemies. 
We should work together. I have no wish to harm you. Day down. You have two arms. One must be removed. Not be enemies. We should work together. I'm sorry, my friend. We are both victims, you and I. Okay. Wow. <laughs> uh, that's not good. But. Took up half my energy to heal. <laughs> I'm not gonna let that stand. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Instead, I'm gonna go in this way and see if I didn't actually need that. I need the fork, don't I? I can't get the panel off. My fingers are too wide to get a grip on the edge of it. Let's just do this thing. Overload imminent. Warning. Reactor breach. Overload imminent. Warning. That's a good that's a good sign. I am far stronger than I normally human being. We're not strong enough to pull the doors off the cell block more than a few inches apart. They are locked up tight, but I caused some kind of short in the electrical panel next to the doors. Oh, fun, fun, fun. No, wrong button. It's okay. Okay. A severed arm! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Cyborg Dude. Let's get him to talk to us. Save. Yes. Let's play zero one. Arm beating two point oh. <laughs> if you come from the fork, you'll be sorely disappointed. Yes, yes, fork, fork, fork. Short, long, short, long. Well, not ready yet. <laughs> you stand upon holy ground. It's fitting you should kneel. Ugh. We should not be enemies. We should work together. I have no wish to harm you. Have a hand. Stay down. Uh oh. We should not be enemies. We should work together. You have two arms. Ow. One must be removed. Ugh. I have no wish to harm you. We should work together. I have no wish to harm you. Uh. I'm sorry, my friend. We are both victims, you and I. See if I did any better. No, I didn't. Well, you know what? That's life. And it'll continue to heal. So you can see the... Is it? Yeah, you can see it healing. <laughs> oh, limping. Oh... A logbook. <clears throat> and read the logbook. I can still hear Dane in the other cell. They beat him ba pretty bad, so bad that they called down from control and ordered him to stop. I should be treated a little better than that. It's unfitting for any Mondite to die in a place like this. I don't know why I'm writing this down. This logbook is the only thing I have in my cell besides the picture. Pretty. I wish I knew her name. 
I guess I always believe that my former comrades would show me mercy. For I was once one of them. Now I know that the exact opposite is true. They see me as a traitor. While they are very capable of inflicting cruelty on a total stranger, as I was, I, as was I when I was one of them, it was just as likely that they wouldn't. In my case, they specifically seek out some horrible form of revenge. I can't be saved by fate or random chance. I wish they'd just get it over with. Uh... They tell me I am to be turned over to Mastaba. He's a butcher, a psychotic. Those goons can gibber all they want. I can see in their eyes that I'm not the only one afraid of him. I refuse to believe it. It has to be some form of psychological torture. They must be reading this. Do you hear me, Mert? I know you are bluffing. Amdant, you pederast. You don't frighten me. I am being prepped for surgery. I resisted the shocks and injections as best I could, but they won. In a minute, they'll be back to take me to the control level. I wonder if they're planning to do the same to Dane. I wonder how the patient in cell 3 feels right now. I think I was the one in cell 3. They did it. It's over. Is that the worst you can do to do, Masaba, you bastard? I dreamed I was back home. My parents were still alive. I am exhausted and in pain, but I feel that I can pull through this. I need rest. They actually left food for me. I'm not hungry. Too tired to get it anyway. Need more sleep. Somebody rigged one of the tower bots with an injector and wired in a med software box. It looked like Ng's work. My own private nurse. If I try to get up, it will inject me with who knows what. If I lie down, it seems to leave me alone. My skull feels... And I destroyed it. <coughs> My skull feels like it's about to sp be split open. I want to sleep, but I can't. That robot is watching me every second. It won't let me get up. Mastaba came by to examine me. He looked upset, perhaps disappointed. Whatever he tried to do to me must not have taken right. They can't operate on me again. I'm too weak now. It'll kill me. Something's wrong. I'm hearing a weird trilling noise. It changes pitch from high to low, sometimes in patterns of short bursts, and other times with long, constant noise. It's taken me nearly an hour of lying here on this bunk to figure out that it isn't coming from anywhere in the cell. It's in my head. My skin itches all over. It's impossible to lie still. I want to peel it off with my fingers. I'm trying to block out the noise and think of something else. But I can't. I just want to sleep. Why won't they let me sleep? What did they do to me? The robot won't let me off the bed. I know they're watching me on the monitor. The noise in my head is careening out of control. There's blood all over my fingers from the scratching. Maybe they've invented some terrible new way to die, and I'm the first one they've ever tried it on. I wish it would just happen right now. <clears throat> it's all stopped. It's very quiet. I must rest. <coughs> Excuse me. It is a very bizarre practical joke. That is the only logical explanation. I love the color. Blue has always been my favorite. I've just read back the entire contents of this journal. I will assume that because I am blue, as is the author from the last entry, that I am the person who wrote it. I may be mistaken about that. I'm not sure. Despite the confinement, I have to say that I am very much enjoying this situation. Now that, the now that the last of my old thoughts and memories have been erased from my mind, I can finally free to become the person I, I was originally al always was. It is a very liberating concept. I saw Father again while I was asleep. He wore a red mask. We talked for a while, and he warned me about this fellow Mastaba that I read about in the book. I don't dream about Mother anymore. Mother fusses over me, so every time I try to leave my bed, she tucks me back in. I wish she stopped treating me like a child. The nurse bot is Mother. <laughs> fun, fun. Something terrible has happened. I wanted to go for a walk around the room. Mother said that I should rest. We started arguing, and in a fit of anger, I killed her. What shall I do now? When the guards come, I confess my crime to them. At first, they gave me a long look of disbelief. Then they started laughing. I was shocked several times, but I was able to make them stop. After they left, I noticed that my food was gone. Perhaps I shall be punished by being starved to death. It's only fitting given the severity of what I have done. Fools! When they took the food, they forgot the fork! I nearly wept when they returned. Imagine my relief when I thought that they had only come to collect what I kept from the young gentleman's face. I know things no one else knows. They think I am mad, but I assure you the fork is the key to my whole world. Mother has gone to a better place, and I have my fork. So far, my plan has been working perfectly. I am making significant progress. I am certain that I have nearly succeeded in convincing several of my guards that they are, in fact, really lizards. We aren't hitchhiking anymore. We're riding! The buzzing in my ears has become so loud that I have to scream at the top of my lungs just to hear myself think. Whoever is playing the flute, I wish they'd stop it. Dane down the hall is my only friend. The picture he gave me keeps me company. If I ever see him again, I really shall have to kill him. I think I'm starting to get hungry. Now I understand. All along, it was I who kept them prisoner. They desperately want to escape here into my world, but they cannot, for I guard them well. Something inexplicable is happening. The world is on fast forward. I no longer understand what people say. 
Mine, this is really, really long. Uh, mine makes sense. No feeling the talk out of my face. Time is now a big round circle of things. Chewing when the eyes come. It's so loud these days, it's completely dark. What surgery made me? Can't think of it. Lost either myself or else the whole universe somewhere. Hunt the worm. Vacuum. No entry, no entry. Big good shipmaker and Kaiser Fascinating. The guy's nuts. Kanan, the prisoner in the cell next to mine, was one of the people who did this to me. Now he is a mutilated and insane freak. Eh, we'll go ahead and put that in my inventory. Have a look at that. Oh. A photograph. Pretty lady. No, nope. didn't mean to look at it. No. <laughs> I think this is timed. There we go. Inventory. Journal. Might be able to use this for utensil for something, and I don't mean to eat with. I don't recognize the girl in the photo. I don't think it belongs to my one-armed friend, but she must mean something to someone here. I think that's everything in this cell. Short. Not short. Long. Through. Alright. Save. I don't know what I just did there. Cancel. Ah, there we go. Let's play one arm beating. That's probably gonna be the name of this one. <sighs> okay. Let me go back to the options screen. Thanks for watching, I'm Mr. Tattered Rags, and this has been Bioforge.